So me and Simon are splitting up today. We're splitting up because Simon's going to carry on the work on the getting the engine burner installed and I'm going to work in the engine room and start cleaning out the disgusting bilge. Ugh. I think I got the worst job. So this job's not going to be fun because the access to get under the engines is pretty tight. So I think I'm going to end up covered in dirt today. But let's get stuck in. To get like under the fuel tank now. Oh, this is just the worst area ever. And I need to make sure my bum doesn't break anything. Absolutely stinks down there. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. So I've scraped as much as I can by hand out of that bit, but this is the access that I've got now under the engine to get down there. I need like arm extenders. <laughs> so I think a lot of this could be hoovered out as well. Um, but we haven't got enough power. Hands down, one of the worst jobs on the boat. Ugh. So this one's worse because it's got ballast in the way. Don't we need that piece? Thank you. 
I just can't get in down here. I'm meant to get in to do that. So, so far, that's the bucket with all the sludge in. Ready for bro? She's <laughs> getting a bit up close and personal with the old cats here, aren't they? Let's see if we can have a yeah. That there must be an easier solution. So I've filled my shovel up full of slimy stuff. I can't physically reach it now, and my arm's a bit stuck. <laughs> this is the worst, worst to place. To be honest with you, the road doesn't look very good for the views at home, but it's looking quite good. Yeah, no, but how can I reach my shovel now? I don't know. That's that's a you problem. <laughs> oh, I can't reach it. I see one day I'm gonna to have to crawl underneath there for some reason. You won't get in, it's just too tight. Come back. Right, let's leave Gemma to this. This is not our, <laughs> it's not our forte, this is it? So I've done as much as I can do in them villages. Um, I need some power. I need to be able to jet wash in there and get the hoover in and suck it because the hoover will be able to reach places where my hands can't. Um, we're down to 23 volts on the battery now, so if I get the hoover on or the jet wash, it is going to kill what we little power we have, so I'm going to have to save that for another day, because the generators also just run out of fuel. Right, so while Gemma's in the engine room, I'm going to be repairing or rebuilding the engine bearer that we took out in previous episodes, because it was all falling apart, wasn't it? So. It used to look like this one here on the port side, but we haven't got one now on the starboard side. So it basically sits on these big wedgy things there. So we need to sort of build our own new one. So what we need to do is a big piece of material going all the way from bulkhead to bulkhead. Obviously not using this one. This is just for simulation purposes or to get my head around it. So that's going to be going along there, so we now need to notch into these parts here. So I think, actually, I think a template wouldn't, wouldn't go amiss, would it? Because there's quite a few angles and stuff, because the boat gets higher towards the front. So let's look into making a template, and then we can sort of get all the angles, and it'll give us our screw positions in, won't it? So. It's got a nice piece of oak here for this now. So made our template, so now we're gonna put it on top, cut it out, and then we need to figure out where to drill it, don't we, for them studs. Spend about half an hour looking for these ends. Always in the last place you look, aren't they? So we need to sink these ones quite a bit because this piece of material that we're using is a bit, bit deeper, bit chunkier than the original, so the bolts don't stick up as far. 
but I did put a mark here where the, where the the top of the the heads of the bolts were. So we'll go a tiny bit more than that. Right, let's go see if it fits. If it fits, I'm gonna have a celebration brew. What do you think? So now what we need to do is figure out where the top piece goes now. So that obviously goes along there. We didn't pay that much attention on where it landed, even though we can see witnesses on the floor here, but we don't trust them. What we want is a perfectly flat floor sole from port to starboard, don't we? So we've got the levels from this one, this one, and this one. Problems we've got though is over the years, there's all these bits been put in, there's this been put in, so I think we need to take these off so then we can get a string line from all the way over there, all the way over to where we want it to go, and then we get our perfect level, then don't we? So, unfortunately, we've got to do some more destruction. Oh, yeah, we've had a brew, haven't we, Gem? Celebration brew. All the fixings are just iron fixings or steel fixings or rotten through. But it's making our life a bit easier, isn't it? This was all put in in the 80s, I think. Right, so I've got me string line set up now. And what's interesting is that all of the, um, the bearers at the moment are all in line. So they're all in line, basically, so like, the structure hasn't moved that much, is it? Do you like one hasn't sagged, one hasn't fell? So the actual structure here across the boat is per perfectly flat. We need to do nice figure out where are the new top piece has got to go. It's around here somewhere. So if we put the string line across all these now, and then we put a mark here, then that gives us our level that nuts it to work off to where we want the the structure to be. So that's our level, 1,590. It's kind of surprising how big the gap is down here than how, how small it comes up here. That's quite a, a hole, a change in the, the shape of the hole there. Right, so we know this end is plumb level with them. But what we need to do is check this end right across there now. So we're going to reset the string line and double check the height of this one. And then we can then figure out how we're going to hold this up. Uh, I'm half thinking to do some sort of like fancy notch kind of things. I don't know why. 
but yeah. So let's check the, the height of this one, then we'll set the height of that one up and down. Um, and then we'll figure out what we're doing for support. Because all it was was like little blocks going between it. And it was all held together with plywood. So then this back edge here, the aft end, is actually low. So it needs to come level with this, with this cut out here in the bulkhead. So we need to investigate now to see how we can get that up higher. Because it's quite a substantial, substantial piece there, so what I think we'll do then is notch this out here, and then it'll come up to there maybe. I don't know what to do to you. Me or the camera. <laughs> and, um, I wish she was as dirty as the camera. <laughs> this is why we go through so I'm many not, cameras. I'm not touching it. that. I know, it's, it's, it's dirtier than me. Right, do not step on that. Oh, In look. fact, hang on, let me stand over it. Right, yeah, you can walk on that. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be daft, it's not stuck onto anything. No. Got any strong one. It's not because it's not attached to anything, so <laughs> stop trying to like get 250 quid off you being framed. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Have you seen what we've got to deal with working in this area just to get out? Like, you need to go down there. Uh, get rid of that. Back up. Just that. How many times a day do we step up and down out of that bilge? That's where we. It's tiring. Potentially suffer from exhaustion from time to time. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it today. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm feeling like it's dinner time as well. Right, uh, okay. Just uh, I'm, to I'm just going to get me into what I'm going to remove off this. And then, yeah, if you want to prep brews and stuff, and then I'll be with you. It might take you a minute to clean yourself up. We've got a dirty page. No, it's fine. I look like I've been sweeping chimneys. Yeah. <laughs> Probably be a cleaner and easier job, actually. Right, so what we need to do now is remove this piece of material here. This is where the bulkhead is, so we can come up to the bulkhead. So yeah, we need to remove that much. And the way we're going to do it is with a chisel. And we've been actually donated some beautiful chisels by Barry Wood. I don't know if you've ever been on our Facebook and there's some like cool pictures of Surinder. Um, basically, no, he does really good pictures. Uh, he sent us a load of chisels because I think he saw the chisels that we used to use. And these ones were actually very, very sharp. So I need to buy myself an iris oil stone to keep these up to date. So we're only going to use these for like the posh, the posh chisels. We'll still use our old ones for like ripping out and destroying stuff. Anyway, stop waffling. All right, let's, um, let's have a go at fixing this. All right. I've been dying to use this. What is it? It's my Japanese saw. And this come from Stephen, one of our patrons. So thank you so much, Stephen. I've wanted one of these for ages. So I just need to put it together. Right, so Gemma's tape. Oh, shit, I just fell down that hole then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never ever used one. What a saw? Yeah, so it's it's a pull saw, so yeah, take it, you cut on that the pull. Line there, yeah. Not the other line. Runs on. I'm scared. This is mission critical, this, you know. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should have let me practice on something else. <laughs> is, that the, is that the course end you're using? No. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Go wonky. How much is some Leo chiseling with any chisels? I want us to do this with my new saw. <laughs> you could do you could. Have you finished doing the engine room? <laughs> I'm going one keyboard. <laughs> Cuts really nice actually, doesn't it? Right, okay. You can finish it off with the chisel now. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's my new favourite tool. Yeah, I mean, 
years ago, but he was a grinder, wasn't we? <laughs> Can I have a go your chisel? And I've done it now. So what good engineers would do now is like, they'd pull out the little, um, the little plane, wouldn't they? And they'd be like... <laughs> I don't know where we got this one from. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. But it's like an end one, isn't it? Or you'd pull out your, um, your number two, or hang on, let me see what number this one is. I don't know. It's a bit rusty, though. And yeah, look at that, shut that Right, anyway, that might not fit anyway, so let's um, see if she fits. Right, let's see if she fits. <laughs> I haven't just tried it, honest. Perfect. So what we need to do now is figure out how we're gonna hold this up. Because obviously there's nothing holding up either and it's just wedged in the moment, but originally it had pieces of wood which was just sort of going down. And I think this end, that's how we're gonna do it. For some reason I feel like now we've got all these fancy chisels and stuff, I feel like we should do something a bit more technical. I don't know about Jim, Jim's opinion on this, but I think eventually I'd like to be a bolt this structure to this bulkhead but there's no real way of bolting it to the bulkhead but I think if we put a piece in here which will then be bolted to these and then we can then fire some big bolts right all the way through and then get to the other side and then bolt it up does that make sense? bit of an update for the boat because then you, this, this bulkhead then will be attached to this so if this is moving up and down then the bulkhead's going to move with it I don't know I think it's worth putting the effort in anyway, so like, we'll basically do like some like lap jointy kind of things in here and then we'll keep it original there so that's just underneath so then the way it's going down. So we'll start with this end here, we'll make like a piece to go in here, this is basic, this is square to the world and this is slanted that way so we need to work out the angles for that. So because of the different angles what I'm going to do is hold that up there and then because this is set right here and this is set right there I'm going to draw on the back of them and then we'll choppy chop <laughs> so you can see this one is pretty square and this one is going off that way Tight, it doesn't even need any fixings. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, let's just double check our level.
Okay, so that's quite a nice fit. Strangely, that sort of fits. Right, so all we need now is one more piece, I think. So we need like a middle piece now. Let's go in there. And then, and that's all glued, bolted up. Should be quite strong. See if she fits. She's a beauty. So I was just saying to Gemma off camera, I'm not too sure how we're gonna fix these because the original ones weren't fixed, they were just floating, but they were basically sandwiched with two pieces of plywood. So I don't know whether we need to fix them or not. But I said what we could do is just locate a copper nail down through. Yeah. Just to stop it moving because then when the ply goes on, the ply will yeah. tie it all together. All right, so rather than destroying our expensive marine plywood, what we're going to do is make a template. Obviously, templates are easy, aren't you? You can get them in and out easy. So Gemma's measured up, so if anything goes wrong, we know who to blame, don't we? The one with the dirty face. <laughs> <laughs> Just write that in the comments. It was the one with the dirty face. Is um, hang on, I've not got a dirty face. Have I? No, look alright. Right, that template is working out quite nice now. So we need to go make these now to the marine ply. This was meant to be our deck, wasn't it? It was. But we're not nowhere near decks. I need a new roof because this one's leaking really badly. <laughs> Hence we've got buckets. So I've got buckets. a really good catchment system. Because it was leaking from up here and it was getting me good plywood wet. So that goes over there, and the water comes down and goes into the bucket. <laughs> gutters. <laughs> me inside gutters. Look we get first, here we be good. All right, we've got to get out of there now. Oh, I haven't got the energy. Come on then. Ugh. Like, oh, you can't kneel on it when you're cutting it off. Yeah, it's like cutting the branch you sat on, isn't it? Wires. <laughs> <laughs> Wires been like. If you can control this end for me. Oh, she's tight. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought we're all just balanced together here. Oh. Okay. Look, there's a bug. So we're slightly up on this gap on this here, but that was sort of slightly intentional because when it's all fixed together, then we'll sand that back to the right level. What do you think? Yeah. So, do you want to get the other piece in? 
just to make sure we can get it in. <laughs> because otherwise we might have to cut it and put it in two pieces. I'm just worried about this door. Hmm. And if that's the case, maybe we just need to cut it in half and then we'll join it where the big chunk is in the middle. Just watch that wire, so it'll melt all of that. Oh, cool, it's just going. Goes in better than the other one. I know, yeah. <laughs> I thought that one would give us <laughs> trouble. <laughs> right, so let's take it all back out again and paint it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. But the biggest shout out goes to all of our truly amazing supporters. Everyone who supports us on Patreon and everyone supports us on Coffee. Without you guys, this would not be possible. So we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all your support to allow us to continue to make these videos for you to enjoy. And hopefully one day, We'll all be able to sail away together on the boat. See you all soon.